Hey guys, before we get started, don't forget I have my giveaway coming up. Check it out. Giving away a free level two charger. You got to the end of the month, the end of January 2023, then it's gone and I will be doing a live drawing. So get your, watch the video, find out how to enter, get entered, win a free level two charger. It's a 16 amp, 240 volt charger. So you'll charge at 3.6 kilowatts. It also has a plug to be a 110, so you can use it as a travel charger if you already have a level two. Might be a good replacement to put in the trunk of your car. Uh, there's also adapters you can have for like a NEMA 1450 to a NEMA 620. But anyway, check out the video. And uh, I did a full review on that charger as well. So check that one out too, so you know everything about that charger. All right, thanks. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, No Gas Nico here. Um, Got the car back on Thursday. Today is Saturday. I'm gonna run some errands in it right now. And um, all I gotta say is the dealership made it worse. Uh, replacing module 20, although probably sounded like a good idea because it was throwing a fault. Not a good idea because guess what? I now have really strong cells. There's eight cells in a module, uh, 192 cells total, 24 modules. Well, I had module 20 fault out for over discharge. So they replaced it based on a fault code. And uh, sure, thought everything was gonna be great. I thought, well, maybe the car will be more usable on the highway and uh, we can utilize the car more than just local trips. Seeing it does have a Chatamo, we can charge, I can go to the next city over, fast charge, come home. There are fast chargers available. So this car should be able to go out of town. Anyway, I pick it up from the dealership and uh, as soon as I hit the highway, I didn't have my Leaf Spy dongle plugged in. So the LE Link OBD2 Bluetooth, I didn't have it with me because I took it out before I sent, took it to the dealership. So when I picked it up, I forgot to grab it. So I had no way of erasing codes if this thing was to fall out on me on the highway. Well, guess what? Watch the video that I took of me going down I-94, busy interstate, with the cruise set at 71 miles an hour and it almost halted again. Watch this. This is fantastic. My percent battery keeps going up. I was at 49%. I'm going on the highway. I got the cruise set at 66 miles an hour. My percent battery keeps increasing. I was at 71 miles an hour, 72 miles an hour. I got turtle mode. I just got it back from the dealership. And now my percent battery is going up and now it's at 68%. But they fixed it. Going up a hill, losing circles. Crew set at 66 miles an hour. I gotta, I gotta slow down or I'm going into turtle mode. This thing's gonna fault out on me and I don't have lease by with me. This is, I'm on my way back home from the dealership. Now watch the battery percentage. I'm at 39%, right? Coming off this hill. And I start getting a regen a little bit because I'm going downhill now. starts to balance out my percent battery will start going up but I gotta I can't go over 66 miles an hour in this car look at that 42 percent I'm gonna set the cruise at 66 again I can't even go up a hill at 66 miles an hour in Michigan we're not very hilly people state of charge forty six percent I'm gonna cancel the cruise for a second and do a regen see what happens forty nine fifty boy that's a really good regen fifty one 
course now I'm doing 51 miles an hour I'm trying to accelerate up this hill and I'm afraid of going into turtle mode and dying ah the frustration Nissan gave it a clean bill of health so if we replace the modules everything's good I beg to differ I'm still only doing 64 I got another hill That scared me. Ha! The saga continues. Uh, looks like I might have to pop a code and take this back to Nissan and say, uh, you're not done yet. What do you think? Think they fixed it? Or do you think they made it worse? Um, I could drive on the highway before with the cruise set at 71 miles an hour, go up and down hills. And it wasn't a problem. The only time it would fall out like that is when I was trying to pass somebody or if I had to aggressively accelerate because I was getting onto the highway and there was full lanes of semi trucks behind me and I really had to hit it to get in front of them. Then the car would act up. Now it acts up just cruising at speed. So not good. This is, this is a very horrible situation. I had to get down to 61 miles an hour to keep it from faulting out. And if it faulted on me, then I would have been stuck without being able to clear the code and uh, call a tow truck. So I haven't talked to Nissan about this yet. Uh, the service guy I was talking to, Frank, he is on vacation until Monday. He's coming back. Uh, I have did some research on some online Nissan Leaf forums and Facebook groups and whatnot and found out that They'll just keep replacing modules. Well, there's 24 modules in this thing. I had 20 fault out and they replaced it. I have a video, one of my previous videos, we have 24 through a code. And uh, watch this video. I actually, since I got my dongle back, I went ahead and saw if I could get this code to pull up. The car sat for almost 24 hours. It was kind of cold, like low 30s. So I thought, well, I'm gonna jump on the highway on my way home and uh, see what happens. So watch this video. All right, entering the highway. Let's see if I can make a fault. Busy highway, let's go. Sixty miles an hour, seventy miles an hour, seventy-two. It's faulting out. She's gonna fall. settings let's read our trouble codes read cell over discharge module 14 first time I've seen that I thought it would be 24 I've seen that in the past but here we go again. So, let's go through the Rickamer War to clear uh, 
let's do all the high voltage battery first. Let's clear those. Yes, clear all. Waiting. Yeah, be flipping kidding me. Alright, let's go back. Clear. Motor control, why not? Let's clear those. That was the sound I'm looking for. I can go now. Let me see if I can clear the rest of these. Wow, it took forever. Uh, let's clear the brake next. What'd you think? It didn't take me long to fault it out. I mean, within one or two exits. Actually, it was one exit. Anyway, module 14. 14, I was guessing 24 because I saw a fault code for 24 in the past. Thought 24 is the next one. Now it's 14, so I can give them a code for 14. I can give them a code for 24. So are all 24 gonna throw a code individually and are they gonna replace all 24 cells individually? Sounds like they will, based on the Nissan forum groups and uh, Facebook groups I've been researching. They are dead set on the eight bars before they'll do a warranty replacement. They will not replace the battery unless you hit eight bars. So do I nickel and dime them trying to get them to replace the pack by replacing every module individually, which has got to end up costing more than one, one battery pack would be with all that labor involved or do I just deal with the car drive it locally only until I drop the fourth segment and I have eight segments left and then get a warranty that way the decision I got to make so let's quickly talk about what they did they replaced the module they basically put brand new batteries in series and parallel with degraded batteries so what happens when you're calling for power when you're accelerating even regular acceleration you notice in my leaf spy those cells didn't drop their voltage but all the other cells did so you can easily spot the new cells and on a recharge a regen or when it's plugged into a six volt uh, six kilowatt level two charger you notice that those new cells have a lower voltage and more volts are going into the old cells so they're at a higher voltage and that's because the new cells are performing as they should they're not degraded they're not bad I have a bunch of bad cells in here and when you put new cells in the mix that voltage difference that the car measures as to be a problem when the millivolt differences are too great the car falls out so what do they do they exasperated the problem they made it worse they made this car totally unusable on the highway, unless you want to do 60 miles an hour, which that's, I mean, if you ever drove I-94 in Michigan, you'll die doing 60 miles an hour. Even the semi trucks do 70. Um, so there you have it. So what do you think? Um, are you experiencing the same thing? Let us know your uh, 
your experience? Did you go through this? What was Nissan's response? Uh, how did you react? Uh, did you go ahead and have them keep replacing modules? Or did you just do what I'm probably gonna do? Is just wait until I lose the next segment and get a whole new pack because this is not worth it. Uh, they had my car for three and a half weeks. I was without a car, I had to drive my V8 F-150. Uh, in that three and a half weeks, I spent $80 in gasoline. Thank you very much, because I get free charging at work. So I went from zero fuel cost to $80 for what, that month. But, you know, is what it is. So do I want, every time this happens, my car to be out for a month? Uh, that's another 23 months I could be without my car. And next thing you know, there goes my warranty. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, what do you think I should do? Do you think I should just keep taking it back and have them replace module after module after module? Or I'm at 67.5% state of health, another 1% or 2%, maybe 3%, and I will probably qualify for a full battery pack replacement. Um, I'm leaning towards that route. Uh, probably try to do things to help it along, you know, things that you're not supposed to, total discharge before I recharge. You know, just the things that they say don't do. Uh, don't leave it at set at 100% for multiple days during the heat. I might do that. I might do that anyway because sometimes I'm plugged in at work and I end up having to stay out of town and it might just stay at 100% while I'm out of town for work for two or three days uh, unexpectedly. So uh, sometimes I do things like that. I even did it on my 2020, which you know, you're not supposed to, but hey, when you're out of town, you don't have any choice. It's what it is. So. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, kind of at a loss here because they made what should be a really great used car horrible. And before you go to Nissan thinking that a bad module is going to get you a new battery pack, sorry to say that's not been my experience. If, it, if you have gotten a whole battery pack replaced because of a bad module, let me know because why would they do that for some and not for others? Is it a supply chain issue? Is it the fact that they can't get these batteries quickly enough? So they're just trying to fix, band-aid the problem? I don't know. I don't know what Nissan's thinking. I have a horrible battery pack, needs to be replaced, but Nissan's going to piecemeal it along. And I purposely bought this car to get the 40 kilowatt hour battery pack replacement under warranty. So I'm not going to let them increase my state of, state of health and end up missing my warranty replacement. So, again, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, if you're going through this, comment. Let me know. Um, let us know your experience so other people can see. Maybe other people are going through this that aren't talking about it. They're just dealing with it. They maybe finally got fed up with it and searched the internet and came across this video. So leave your comments in there. Let, let people know.